Hi, MWF users, and welcome to this week's Tech Tip. My name is Hannah from Structsoft Solutions, and today we're going to talk about uh, a question, actually, that uh, I received in one of the tickets from our clients. The question was, can we make our own uh, family types in MWF? The answer is yes. So this is what we're going to go over. Uh, let's go ahead and create framing for this wall. I'm just going to use an out of the box template. I'm going to use light gauge, but keep in mind that what we're going to talk about today can be applied to wood as well. And close and let's create. Okay, I'm going to close this for now. So the scope for today's tech tip is to create families from MWF families. Uh, today we're not going to cover uh, using families that are customized or that were maybe imported from a website. We're going to use MWF families uh, to create uh, other types of families. Uh, however, there is a really good webinar if you wanted to use customized families that are not created from MWF out-of-the-box families. So uh, this is the family uh, that exists in this template. It's a six-inch family. What we can do here is two things. There's two techniques to create your own family. I'm just going to make a copy here. And as you probably already know, this is a structural framing family. In Revit, this is going to behave just like a regular Revit object that you can move or copy around. The goal here for today is to make our own type. Uh, this can be made in, in several ways. So one way to achieve this is to go here to Edit Type. We can duplicate this family and give it whatever name we like. I'm just going to call it Test for now. What I can do here is make changes to these, the return, the F, the D, the TF, and here there's the weight as well. So let's go ahead and, and make just a few changes. So let's say that I want to make this, for example, five inches, okay? You can make additional changes from here. I'm going to go and explain what we mean by these in a, in a little bit. So I'm just going to hit OK. So this family has changed. It's called test while this one, the original, is still the same one. I'm going to actually double click on this family. And I'm going to go here, actually here. OK. So this is the MWF family that you're going to receive out of the box. The D stands for the distance over here. The TF stands for the thickness over here. This family has a return, it has a lip, so this is where it is defined. This is a parametric family, and this is the BF from here to here, okay? So um, I'm going to come back and explain this again, but in a TXT file. But just remember that this is just a quick explanation to what BF, D, and TF and return mean. I'm going to actually go back here, okay? And this is what we just saw when we hit Edit Family, okay? So now that we have created our own family in this file, and this is file-specific, so this technique is file-specific, we can actually use this family by going to the properties of a panel. And now we can switch. You'll find it here. So you can change the horizontal stud, the vertical, the bottom, and the top to what we have just created, which is called test. And I'm just going to switch it here and here. And I'm going to hit OK. So that's one way. But keep in mind that this is project specific. So if I wanted to copy this family into another file, there is a technique to do this. What I can do is make a mass selection like this. So I'm selecting everything, including the family and uh, the family I want to copy and the whole wall, which is the host. I can use Control C on my keyboard, and then I can go here to the file that I want to add that family to. Control V on my keyboard again. Just going to get this um, 
uh, actually it's just an indication that there are these types are already existing but they're different that's totally okay I'm just gonna hit okay I'm gonna place this wall here but just remember that this has to be deleted because right now this is uh, not an active um, a panel. This is actually a dead panel. We just brought it here for the purposes of bringing in this uh, family into the project. So I'm actually going to go ahead and delete everything I just brought in because all I wanted was a family. Okay. Now what I can do is go here to the properties, look for the family that was called test. There it is. I can use it. So that's one technique. There it is. And there it is. And then I'm going to hit OK. And that's one technique. Here it is. However, Let's say that we want to make this family in a way that we can actually import it uh, to any file at any point. How do we do that instead of using this manual technique? First of all, let's talk about where we can actually find these families. So when you install MWF, you're going to actually receive a bunch of families to access them. We're going to actually go to the first button over here to home directory, and it's going to take you to this folder. This folder is found here in your PC, uh, in your local C, program data, Structsoft solutions. I'm using 2023. Right now we're in walls, framing components, Imperial, MWF standard. I just wanna point out a few things. First of all, I'm using an Imperial model for today, but we actually can use metric. You can also uh, use manufacturer-related families. Over here, we do have some Semco, Howick, MarinaWare, Scottsdale. So this depends on what machine you're using for your output. For today's example, I'm using a generic family. I'm actually using this one here. So what you'll receive is two files for the same family. One file is going to be an RFA file. This is the Revit family file. The other file you receive is a TXT file. And if I double click here, it's going to look like this. So the other technique to create your own family would be to make your own from here, from this file. So every single one of these rows represents a family with specific sizes. The first part over here represents the name. This will go here. The second one will be the return. The one after that is going to be BF. After that, it's going to be D and then TF. Remember, we mentioned these and we saw these in the family. And then there's also the weight and additional information if you wanted to add these. Let's make our own. What I'm going to do is make a copy. So Control C to one of these rows. I'm going to actually Control V on my keyboard. I'm going to call this test because this is just a naming convention. And here where it says D, which is, so this is the return, this is the length, this is the BF, this is the one that I'm gonna change. So I'm gonna change the D. I'm going to make this five inches. I'm just gonna delete this row over here and then this row over here. I'm going to save this file and now I can close it. To insert this family, let's actually open a brand new file. Let's make a wall. Let's go to the 3D view. Let's frame this wall, create. I'm gonna pick the same template that we started with in the beginning. I'm gonna use light gauge, set it as active, close and create. Let's go back here to the home directory. 
I'm going to copy this location, so Control C on my keyboard. I'm going to go to Insert, Load Family, and I'm going to paste this here. This is going to take me to that location. I'm going to hit Open, and the family that I'm going to load is this one. So it's a BIMSF SMAS, the RFA. I'm going to click on Open. So this is how Revit is going to understand that TXT file that we were just looking at. You'll notice over here, this one is called text. This is actually the one I'm looking for. I'm going to load this. And by the way, if I wanted to load multiple families, I can at the same time. I just have to use control on my keyboard and just insert the families that I need. I'm just doing something really random here. So I'm assuming that these are the ones that we need. I'm going to hit OK. And now what I can do is I'm going to go to Properties. I'm going to be able to see those families that we just imported. I'm going to use Test for the horizontals, for the verticals, for the bottom, and for the top. And I'm going to hit OK. And there they are. We have just applied them to our panel. And that's it. This concludes this week's tech tip. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next week.